Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, AKA Low So Natural. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are not a current subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. Today, I have some fire layering combos for you all. Layering combos I've worn over the last couple weeks. So if you're interested in knowing how you can smell good, how you can use up your products, be creative, keep watching. Today's scripture of the day is Psalms chapter 55, verse 22. It says, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. So no matter what you're going through, if you are righteous, let me say that first. If you are righteous, if you are trying, you are seeking him. Don't let the trials of this life get you down. Don't let them shake you up. You are not soda. You are the Lord's child. You can't be shaken because God got you. He has already overcome it all. Even if you are soda, it says that he will not even let you be shaken. You can't even get shook up. That's what the word says. It says never. He will never let the righteous be shaken. So I'm going to just say this. If you are being shaken, maybe you aren't righteous. And that's a word for me and for you. I'm not gonna be shaking today. I'm not gonna be shaking today. Devil, you better go away. You might shake, I won't get shook. You might shake, I won't get shook. Mess with me, I'ma grab my book. And when I say book, I mean Bible. All right, y'all, don't get it twisted. I'm not a rapper. I'm a Jesus trapper. <laughs> your neighborhood hope dealer and jesus is my healer the only announcements i have is shop goddess of the sea beauty a black owned natural skincare and feminine hygiene business that i'm an affiliate for you can use my code lauren to get you 10 percent off shop jazara's couture a black owned business out of detroit michigan you can get body care perfume everything you need to smell good, feel good. If you shop Zara's Couture, you can use my code low, so natural, or you can shop via TikTok shop and shop through my showcase. You have that option as well. Last, but certainly not least, shop Key Essential Oils, a black owned business out of Maryland, where I live and where I'm from. If you shop, Key essential oils, use my code low, so 20 to get you your discount. Now let's get into these layering combos. These are combos I have worn over the last couple weeks in no particular order will I go through these. This first layering combo features Cucumber Melon by Goddess of the Sea Beauty, which is one of my faves for this season. It is hot, y'all. I live in Baltimore where it is humid. And the day I wore this combo, I was going to this block party hosted by the Black Ass Flea Market, which is a Baltimore black owned organization. They were having a block party and it was hot. You will see Cucumber Melon featured a number of times because it's hot, so I wanna use fresh scents. Goddess of the Seas Cucumber Melon is not the same as Bath & Body Works. Similar vibe, but not the same. I personally prefer Goddess of the Seas product, but you know, if you have Bath & Body Works Cucumber Melon, you can try it with these combos. And my last caveat, my last statement is don't feel like you have to go out and buy all of the products that I mentioned in my layering combos. Use what you have, use something similar to try and replicate, recreate a combo. I'm just here to inspire you, that's all. So this first combo, I used my Goddess of the Sea Cucumber Melon body oil, as well as perfume oil. In the shower, I did use the soap, but we're not going that in depth for all of these combos, all right? Goddess of the Seas Cucumber Melon has cucumber, honeydew, cantaloupe, and lime. It's fresh. I love it. So I'm like, what can I layer that's also fresh? So I also decided to use my Amber White Perfume Oil because 
it's giving fresh vibes. It's giving feminine, just smell good in general. So I added it. And of course I had to add one of my favorite fragrances, Pink Cotton by Dawkins Aroma Company, which smells like fluffy, sweet laundry. It's giving cotton candy and laundry. I don't know really what possessed me to put those together, but I'm glad I did. I enjoyed this combo thoroughly. Just so you know, Dawkins Aroma Company is a black owned business out of North Carolina. Pink Cotton is an extract day parfum and my amber white perfume oil is from a local mall. You can find amber white anywhere. My tip based on this combo would be just because the fresh scents aren't the same doesn't mean you can't layer them together. Cucumber melon is like musky shower fresh. Pink cotton is like sweet laundry fresh. Different type of freshness, but they still work together. This next combo of course features cucumber melon as well. You're gonna see it a number of times. So I started off with my Goddess of the Sea Cucumber Melon Bar of Soap in the shower. I used the body oil, which is for moisturizing and the perfume oil, which is for a stronger, long lasting scent. I decided to layer it with my European Perfumes Greenwich Village Inspired Perfume, inspired by Bond Number no. 9. This is my jam. This right here is my Mm, 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 mm. First off, first off, this is an amazing inspired by scent. Second off, the scent in general is 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It just smells classy, fresh. It's unlike any fruity fresh fragrance I've smelled because it has a sweetness it's just good. This is not the fresh everybody's gonna have. Mm, mm, mm. If I'm not mistaken, I think I wore this combo to church. Won't he do it? He said he would. Won't he do it? This combo was giving. And I don't know what made me think about this combo other than both of them are fresh and I like both of the fragrances. So I'm a person, if I like two fragrances, I wanna layer them together. And Cucumber Melon is green and Greenwich Village's bottle, the Bond number no. nine bottle is green. So I don't know if in my mind that helped inspire it. I really don't know. Either way, I highly recommend this combo. Highly recommend, highly recommend. Go tell a friend that I highly recommend. This next combo is for my sweet girly girls, my slightly gourmand, my gourmand girlies that like the sweet scents. That's the type of gourmand scents I like. Sweet, not so decadent per se, just sweet, candy-like. So in the shower, I started off with my Goddess of the Sea Pink Sugar Shower Gel. Smells like Aqualina Pink Sugar just in a shower gel form that is moisturizing. Also, in the shower, I use my Jazaris Couture Moisturizing Body Scrub, which is oily in the scent, sweet as sugar, which has notes of vanilla, brown sugar, with a hint of lemon. Then when I got out of the shower, I used my Butter Baby Strawberry Lemon Ice Body Oil, 10 out of 10. Strawberry Lemon Ice just might be my favorite strawberry scent. I used to love strawberry scents and then I fell out of love with it for whatever reason. This scent I love. Butter Baby's formula is amazing. Butter Baby is a black owned business out of the DC area. Go shop Butter Baby. Let her know I sent you. Then I chose two perfumes to use. I chose my Positivo, which is by Genre Parfums. This is inspired by Hufflepuff by House of Siage. And I also use my Genre Parfums Mini More, which is inspired by House of Siage's Mini Mouse. Positivo and Mini More, Hufflepuff and Mini Mouse. That combo alone, amazing. And the fragrance mist I decided to use was Bath & Body Works Pink Suede that has a berry note 
has a peony note and a cotton note. It just smelled amazing. The fluffiness from the cotton note and pink cotton went with the fluffiness in Positivo, which is like coconut and cream and phenomenal. The next combo features cucumber melon yet again, the body oil and the perfume oil. This combo also features a perfume I have not yet talked to y'all about. I might do a video if y'all are interested comment video if you want me to do the video this perfume was gifted to me via tiktok this is called royal musk sweet and powdery by sarati this is a middle eastern fragrance it's definitely a sweet powdery musky perfume the fragrance notes are musk vanilla and precious woods this plus cucumber melon was just a no-brainer. And the fragrance mist I decided to add was Bath & Body Works Lovely Dreamer, which has the fragrance notes of fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. A nice fresh combo. I believe this was my scent of the night one evening and it was definitely giving. What y'all think I used for this combo? goddess of the seas cucumber melon when i tell you i like it i'm not just saying i like it i like it i love it a lot i'm using it a lot so for this combo i used the soap and the body oil the perfume oil i decided to use is by labelle perfume oils which is out of I believe the DMV area. The oil is inspired by Byredo's La Tulip, La Tulip, which is a tulip scent. It's fresh. It's slightly creamy to my nose. There is no true creamy notes, but the creaminess almost gives me a cucumber-esque scent. Hence why I wanted to layer it with cucumber melon because it just gives me that vibe just with some floral and the perfume i chose was greenwich village again i told y'all i've been loving it inspired by ball number nine this is from european perfumes go shop european perfumes and the fragrance mist i chose was bath and body works dressed in white which i should have right here Dressed in White has the fragrance notes of Pear Blossoms, Ivory Gardenia, and Satin Woods. It's just a feminine, fresh, fresh, crisp, floral scent with some sweetness. Yeah, I really enjoyed this combo as well. I believe this was another scent that I wore to church one Sunday. Okay, y'all, so this next combo was a remix to my Mother's Day combo from last year. My Mother's Day combo last year was using my Kish Love Body Oil, which is inspired by Chloe's Chloe. I love this oil. I should say loved because it's gone. And I layered that with J'adore by Dior one of my favorite fragrances. J'adore is a classy, feminine, fruity, musky, floral scent. And the remix is I added my Chloe Love inspired perfume oil, which I got from a local mall. If you're familiar with Security Mall, if you're from the Baltimore, Baltimore County area, Sadia's in Security Mall is where I got it. Chloe Love is very similar to chloe chloe not exactly but they're sisters and they smell amazing together so if you only have chloe love and you have chloe chloe layer them together if you have jador you can layer it with chloe chloe if you have jador you can layer it with chloe love if you have all three you can layer all three i loved this combo so good I wore this combo on Juneteenth and it was giving. Now, this wasn't pictured, but 
I did also, where is it? I did go in and add rose to the combo because I'm using my fragrance mist. This has the fragrance notes of airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. I'm gonna have to use my iPad for this combo because it is a number of products. I started off using my Butter Baby Sugar Pink Hibiscus Body Oil and I mixed it with my Bath & Body Works Fresh Coconut Colada Body Lotion. I literally mixed them together in my hand and applied it to my body. I am not the biggest fan of Bath & Body Works lotions as far as moisture doesn't do it for me that's why i prefer body butters and body oils so i mixed those two scents i decided to layer it with my the oil lady utopia vanilla cocoa 21 perfume oil inspired by kayali which is a white floral coconut scent with some vanilla i layered that with my dawkins aroma company pink cotton perfume which i already told y'all about amazing why did i do that because pink cotton goes with the sugar pink hibiscus. And I think coconut was an amazing addition to pink cotton as well as the floral. Just good all around. The fragrance mist I decided to use were Pink Suede by Bath & Body Works and Fresh Coconut and Cotton. Fresh Coconut and Cotton has the coconut, has the cotton, and it has jasmine, which ties into the Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. The cotton and Fresh Coconut and Cotton ties in with the Pink Suede because that has the cotton note. And Pink Suede has the berry note, which goes in with the cotton candy note and pink cotton. You see how I just tied it all together? The next layering combo was my scent from yesterday. I mixed my Beloved Body Butter, which is by The Perfume Chick, which is a black owned business out of the DMV area, out in Maryland. I mix Beloved, which is the black woman scent, if you're familiar with the perfume oil. It's giving fresh, powdery, and spicy. With Fresh Coconut Colada Body Lotion by Bath & Body Works, because I'm trying to use that up. Something told me a coconut scent would be fire with the Beloved Black Woman scent, so. Mix it together, applied it to my body, smelled good. That was enough fragrance just right there, right? But I'm extra and I have other products to use. So I decided to use my Soleil Blanc perfume oil, which is from wholesalebodyoils.com that is inspired by Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. It's a coconut, cardamom, white floral, unisex, warm coconut scent like it literally smells like a sunny day in my opinion layer that with my red sensation by zara which i'm trying to use up because i've had it a long time and i'm <laughs> kind of over the scent layer that together 10 out of 10 highly recommend then i added a fragrance mist which was coco paradise by bath and body works and when i tell you that will be another go-to combo I'm gonna keep going to it because it was so good. This next combo is an amazing tropical combo that I think would be perfect if you're going out, you outside. I started off using my Butter Baby Sugar Pink Hibiscus Body Oil, which again smells like bubblegum hibiscus, but the fragrance notes are what inspired this whole combo. Sugar Pink Hibiscus has the notes of lychee, pineapple, pink flower, as well as cassava melon. So I saw lychee and I said, all right, I'm gonna layer it with Kyer Fusion because that's inspired by Eden Sparkling Lychee, okay? Okay. Then from there, I said, okay, what fragrances do I know that have pineapple? So the fragrance that came to my mind was Kyed Al Frisson Unlimited, though the pineapple isn't giving. It's more of a coconut, prominent white floral yellow floral scent that's creamy 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 i still said i'm gonna do it because i'm extra and i'm creative and i just wanted to that combo right there so good it is long lasting it is projecting i highly recommend it 
I also used a eau de toilette, which was gifted to me by my friend Samara. It is by Mary Kay. It is called Tropical Pineapple. I used it just because. And the icing on the cake was using Finery's Magnetic Candy, the fragrance mist, because I haven't used it a lot this year. And while the notes are not necessarily 100% tied in, they are still tied in. Still relevant. Magnetic Candy has the notes of Pomelo, Violet, that Violet ties in with Kair Fusion, and Cotton Candy. I loved this so much. Can't wait to wear it again. This next combo is another combo that is worthy of being written down. I started off using my Bath & Body Works Life of the Party body cream and I mixed that with my Cucumber Melon body oil and applied it. Life of the Party has a jasmine note. It has a bubbly, is it Prosecco note? And it has vanilla as well as peak citrus. That plus cucumber melon, just perfect fresh base. Then I applied one of my favorite perfume oils, which I also got from Sadia's. It is inspired by Miracle by Lancome. It is a bold, shampooy, fresh floral. It is strong. One of the strongest perfume oils I have in my collection. I highly recommend a Miracle perfume oil. What did I layer with Miracle? Let's see if I can find it. Is this it? Yes. This is European Perfumes Inspired Scent for Irresistible by Givenchy. The label has faded a little bit, so don't think you'll be able to see it. But Irresistible is a pear fresh, Oh my goodness. It also gives a shampooy esque fresh floral scent. Miracle is definitely more shampooy than this. But this, to me, is signature scent worthy. I love it. I love it. Y'all see the dent. Y'all see the dent. It's undeniable. I've been using it. This combo, I'm going to run it back a number of times this summer. I can't wait to wear it again. I have one more combo for you all and that is my scent of the day today. I started off using my The Perfume Chick Beloved Body Butter. Y'all can see I've been using it, but a little goes a long way. I might as well show y'all the consistency while I'm here. Did not need that much at all. Y'all gonna see this gonna go on my whole arm, okay? The scent, I can smell it from right here. So strong. Again, inspired by a black woman. If you're familiar with the black woman perfume oil, that's what Beloved smells like. Started there, then applied my baby powder perfume oil, which is by Creative Scents, a black owned business out of Ohio. This perfume oil also is strong, 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 strong. It's strong. Not even strong, but strong, okay? Apply the perfume oil. It's strong. So strong, it's giving almost that chemically baby powder because it's so strong. Now, me personally, I like a strong baby powder scent, but you know, to some, might not be a cup of tea, but it's okay. I like using this with black woman because black woman is so strong it needs something strong or stronger to go with it then finished up with red temptation by zara again inspired by baccarat rouge 540 i felt like this could also be added to like a staple category for me almost like signature combo worthy because it's so good y'all I only have like one drop left and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. So this will be in my next empties video because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that out. There we go. Getting my last sprays out. All right, y'all. Today's vibe was just fresh. Is giving the color clear <laughs> okay 
like just fresh fresh with some warmth red temptation and baccarat have that like saffron note black woman has some spice but it's powdery which ties in with the baby powder okay okay if you have red temptation you have baccarat layer it with baby powder if you have black woman layer it with either one of the two or both of them i so hope y'all enjoyed this layering combo video i'm trying to get back into doing layering combo videos more often because i get overwhelmed when i get too backed up like my last combo video was 15 and even though that is only four more than this one it's still four more than this one i am trying to work it down and get to a point where i'm showing y'all like five combos it'll be more comfortable for y'all more comfortable for me yeah okay more easily digestible i would appreciate if you would give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it lets me know and it helps the algorithm push my content more so more people can see it another way to get more people viewing my content is for you to share it i would greatly appreciate that as well share it with somebody that's interested in supporting black owned businesses learning about fragrance being exposed to more affordable fragrances using fragrance in a creative way whatever also i would appreciate if you would drop a comment you can drop a question a comment a concern I will definitely try to get back to you ASAP. I have some fire content coming your way, so be on the lookout for that. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every time I drop a video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you guys.